Hello everyone. In this video clip, I'm going to share my yearly expenses, my breakdown of my business, the breakdown of my business. And whenever I go to my accountant for the past few years, I've done one of these old-fashioned reconcile sheets. I, I'm at a loss for words what this is, but I, I, I put everything together and I reconcile it to see what I'm putting into my business and what I'm getting in return. And creating something from nothing is very hard. Um, but you, you, just like anything else, if you want it bad enough, you'll make it happen. I'm just going to just share with you my world in 2013. And it's possible to make as many cuts as possible. And I've made many cuts and live without. But the future continues to get brighter. Sometimes it's really dark before the brightness and things like that happen. This includes my maintenance, my dentist, my health, mortgage, my auto, insurance, maintenance, auto club, my office equipment, postal mail, supplies, a couple of meetings, at a diner for lunch, electric, internet service provider, website, domain, hosting, website builder, my cell phone, my magic jack, which is my landline phone, internet marketing, advertising, online, TV advertising, my Roku TV channel, and I forgot to add one thing, the Vimeo. So we're going to add $200 to this total. But when I, when I did it and I reconciled everything, it came out to $10,196.59. It is possible to live on minimal money if you're lucky enough to have a safe haven. I work for that. I, I am lucky enough. If you have a reliable car, well, I, I keep my car dependable, you know. I, I go out of my way to make sure I have a reliable transportation. Um, I find this very interesting. So every time now I, I go to my accountant, she, and last year she laughed, she goes, you always do that. She thought, she thought it was so great. And she's working with me. She's a very nice woman, Kathleen Thompson. She's a very good accountant. You need an address and phone number? Please contact me. Stretching my dollar, cleaned out my cabinet. I have a bunch of these old folders, tons of loose leaf paper. I don't have money to buy folders right now. I, I mean, I'm barely going out, but my future's brighter. So I put 2014, I cut the top off, and I made do with what I got. Internet service provider. I just keep everything nice and organized. So when I do my tally sheet, I'm at a loss for words. And I make it reconcile. I, this is, I have everything at my fingertips. Electric. All my expenses, what I just explained on the sheet. Supplies, and so on. And that's how I do it. You can make something happen from nothing if you want it. I've made many cuts. When you think that you can't make any more cuts, you do it. I cut my own hair. I color my own hair. I pluck my own brows. I do my own nails. I give myself my pedicures. Just this weekend, I couldn't pay someone to do it, and I wasn't working. So I scrubbed down my bathroom, and I painted it, and I updated it myself. I fixed a few things. came out awesome. These are things that you have to do to make it work for you. Just last week, and this has happened many times throughout the few decades that people say, I, I listen to people and I'm just like, you know, you get sick of listening to people say, well, if I had their money, I could do anything. Well, you know, what's a small thing to do? You work for the people who have money and you work in your business on the back and you make something happen for your future. You know, if you wait too long, I really believe there does come a time that people feel defeated and it becomes too late. Well, I was still young enough to make that change. And it is a dark day right now. But you know what? I feel like something extraordinary is about to happen. And I'm still looking for that perfect part-time job that I can be very passionate about and be a good worker at. Something that I want to do. I want to work for a very good company. So... If you're not passionate, I'm taking stepping stones to get there. I have a job now, and I do like it, but I don't love it. You know, it, I'm doing it because I have to do it. Sometimes you have to suck it up. Last year, I was watching people's homes. I was 
walking dogs. I was taking care of cats and cleaning litter boxes. Anything to do what I needed to do to make a day's pay so I could continue down my path to create something from nothing to better my financial standing for my future. And I feel all that hard work and living without and making do eventually comes back to you. So I hope my experience helps you. I'll be back next year when I do the 2014. I'm very curious because this year I had a couple of jobs. I was on the books. I have 2014. I'm keeping track of everything. I have to add a few things. Got to add. I forgot one thing. That's the way it goes. So I hope my experience and knowledge helps you. You need to understand what you're putting into it and what you're getting in return. R-O-I. Return on investment. Okay, folks. I'll see you later. Take care.